أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم dear viewers welcome to jmeet tv once again we are here to study the commentary of surah 107 al maun meaning assistance let us start as usual from the introduction of surah there are seven ayat in this surah and it is 107th surah in the compilation of holy quran religion means social service helping the poor and needy the surah tells us that the true belief in allah and the last day create a kind and compassionate character how the surah takes its name the surah has been so designated after the word al maun occurring at the end of the last verse ayat أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ويمنعون الماعون and with the hold simple assistance period of revelation ibn marzuya as cited ibn abbas radiyallahu anhu as saying that this surah is makki and the same also is the view of ata and jabir but abu hayyan in al bah al muhit has cited ibn abbas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu qatada and the haq as saying that this surah was revealed at madina in our opinion there is an internal piece of evidence in the surah itself which points to its being a madni revelation it holds out the threat of destruction to those praying once and are unmindful of their prayers and who pray only to be seen this kind of hypocrites were found only at madina for it was there that islam and muslim gained such strength that many people were compelled to believe from experience he had to visit the mosque join the congregational prayer and pray only to be seen of others so as to be counted among muslim contrary to this is at makka conditions were altogether different no one had to pray to be seen there it was difficult even for the believers to pray in congregation they prayed secretly and if a person prayed openly he did so only at the risk of his life this kind of hypocrites found in Mad- Mecca did not compromise those who believed and prayed to be seen but those who in their hearts had no and acknowledge the holy messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam to be on the true path but were avoiding to accept Islam in order to maintain their position of leadership and authority or were not prepared to take the risk of being afflicted with the kind of hardship with which they found the believers afflicted in the society around them this condition of the hypocrites at makka has been described in verses 10 to 11 of surah al ankabut for further explanation kindly refer to our explanation number 13 to 16 of surah al ankabut so far as the theme and subject matter is concerned its theme is to point out what kind of morals a man develops when he refuses to believe in the hereafter in verses 2 to 3 the condition of the disbelievers who openly belie the hereafter has been described and in the last four verses the state of those hypocrites who apparently are muslims but have no idea of the hereafter its judgment and the meting out of rewards and punishments accordingly has been described on the whole the object of depicting the attitude and conduct of two kinds of people is to impress the point that man cannot develop a strong stable and pure character in himself unless he believes in the hereafter 